Hi guys, it is Wednesday, January 22nd, and I'm gonna help you guys get the Lunar Festival meta. So, uh, the Lunar Festival is the first one of the year, um, so I know we haven't done this one yet. And here it is. So, we need to do all of these. Now, the problem with some of these is that uh, all of the Elders ones, so two, four, there's seven of them, um, there isn't, there, there aren't any for Pandaria to get this achievement. Um, I can't just give you guys coordinates. There's, there's too many. This video would take too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link down in the description, um, for the Elders of Cataclysm, Elders of Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, Dungeons, Horde Alliance, and Northrend. And I'm just going to put the link down generally, and it's to, um, a link to the meta in Wowhead. And then if you click on each of them, each of the achievements right at the top of the page, um, what you'll get is uh, a, a link to the achievement and then a bunch of the comments. And there are, that's almost guaranteed if you go to highest rated, the top comment is coordinates for finding all of them. So uh, definitely look into doing, definitely um, do it that way. It'll be easier than me just writing them and you constantly going back and forth between and you can make a macro and it's just really easy. So. Uh, we'll, we're going to skip over those ones, but I will leave the link in the description. Um, and then the next one is Coins of Ancestry. Um, this one, do worry about it at the end. Don't go for it now. Um, and as soon as you have, uh, I'll, show, actually I'll show you, they look like this. And these I have left over from last year. Apparently they carry over, so that's exciting. Um, so you just need 50 of them and by t going and talking to all the elders I think you get one for every elder have i not done the cataclysm one apparently not okay cool i'll go get some more coins um but yeah so just by talking to the elders you get that yeah i, I would have done this before cata came out okay um so yeah talk to all the elders and you get coins you'll get them from doing quests as well um the finery uh you can talk to any of the vendors they are in all the major cities um in East, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor, they're not in um, the, I don't think there are any in Shachathar and uh, the Shrines or anything like that. Just go to the major cities. Or you can go to the general area in Moonglade. That's the other best place to get them. Um, and the, uh, there's three or four different dresses and three or four different um, pantsuits and they cost five coins each. Um, and then all you have to do is purchase it and it doesn't, you don't have to put it on or do anything with it. You just have to put it on. You just have to purchase it. Um, the rocket's red glare. This one's a little bit trickier. Um, there's a lot of ways you can. This can go wrong. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run to the launcher here in the shrine just to show you. So you can see here's the little moon glade area. There's a quest that I'm going to grab. So you've got cluster launchers and firework launchers. Um, and there's the moonbeam. Um, you're going to pay attention to these. You're going to need quite a lot of them. And okay, there's a vendor here too. All right, good. So what you're going to do is you're going to purchase, for the rocket's red glare, you're going to purchase the red rocket cluster. Um, and they cost... So if, if you have, I don't know why, it said one silver on the thing, so, oh, I have the guild thing, that's why. So you have that, and what you're going to do, uh, make sure it's the red one, and make sure it's the cluster, not just like the red firework or something. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it here on your, either on your action bar or hot key it to an actual key, and you're going to do this, and you're just going to keep spamming it, and you're going to do it. So you're going to need a stack of them, obviously, but, um, so you're going to need 10 of them. So it'll cost you about 10 silver. Um, if you have the guild perk, it'll cost you nine silver. Um, and you're just going to spam it constantly and you need to do 10 of them in 25 seconds or less. If you have any haste buffs, uh, whether it be trinkets or spells or potions, use them because it takes about um a second to click which means the other second and a half is the global cooldown and you want to shorten that as much as possible so any haste buffs that you have are a good idea 
Um, so for that one, you do need to be standing up to the cluster launcher. Uh, frenzied firecracker, you need to get the firecrackers and you can either, sorry, uh, the, the red rocket clusters, if you're an engineer, you can also make them. Um, so the firework, we need to buy 10 of them. And this is one that you're gonna wanna put on a key. So I'm just gonna put it here because, okay, and this one you need, shoot off 10 in 30 seconds or less. So, mm, that sounds dirty. Okay, you're gonna do this. C, click, C. That's all you need to do. And you will do that at, I can almost guarantee it took under 30 seconds. It does not take very long. Just alternately click C in your left, or whatever key you use. I used C, uh, whatever key you're using and your left mouse button, because you do have to click the ground on this one, and you'll get that done really quickly. And then the last one is a Loon's Blessing. Um, so it's a quest in Moonglade, and you have to fight this guy, Omen, he's a boss. Um, as far as I know, yeah, okay, so he's not a, in an edge. I think he's right in Moonglade. And so what you need to do is um, fight and defeat him, and then as soon as he's dead, um, this moonbeam will drop to the ground, very similar to this one here. And the good thing about this is if you come late to the party and some groups already killed him, the beam will still stay there, and all you need to do is stand in the light once he's dead, and you get credit. So if you arrive a little late and a group's already killed him, you can still get credit for the quest. And then as soon as you hand that in, you complete the quest, and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Um, like I said, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description for um, where you can find the Wowhead link to get the coordinates for all of these guys, because there are a lot, and it'll take it would take a very long time for me to get all of them for you. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Um, hope you found that helpful. Doing this will net you the. I never do the chemicals. I'm like, oh, there's something for me to do. Um, the reason it shows, it shows that it's having complete is because I did the achievement before Cataclysm came out, because um, the achievement came out when Wrath was the new game, and so I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, so, um, oh, I have not had enough caffeine yet today. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so I did it when, before Cataclysm was even a thing, because Lunar Vestal happened a couple months after Wrath came out. So um, I still had the meta from that year, but yeah, anyway. So um, so I will go do this, because hey, achievement points. And what this will net you is the Telder, the Telder, the Title Elder. And there are pets you can get, which I don't have them, so I need to rectify that. Um, the Lunar Lantern is the Alliance one. And the Festival Lantern is the Horde one. Um, and how you get them is you buy them. I believe they are 50 coins each, so I can buy my Alliance one right now. Um, and then Horde, you can, if you have both on both sides, obviously, then it doesn't matter, but um, they're not that expensive. They're green quality. Um, so yeah, it's, they're not that hard to find. Um, and they're on the auction house and there's always someone in trade chat wanting to sell theirs. So anywho, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.